Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk about the King's Award. So uh, just following on from Neil, who talked about a way of celebrating uh, what the amazing things that archaeologists do, but kind of internally amongst ourselves. Um, one of the things over the years that we've done is try to kind of break out of that to give more recognition uh, for archaeology uh, on a bigger sort of business uh, platform. So um, I'll just share with you our experiences. We actually won a King's Award, so we're the first commercial archaeological company to ever get one. Um, they are really just to go through what the award scheme is for those who aren't aware. Um, it is the highest award uh, for UK business. Um, it is prestigious, genuinely. Um, there's typically around 200 businesses win one of these awards a year. Um, this year was uh, quite a low number. That I think there's about 148. So that's nationally. Um, there's four strands to it. You can apply on one of four strands. Um, one is innovation. Uh, another is international development, so kind of overseas trade. Thirdly, you've got sustainable development and then also promoting social mobility. The tough one, and it is well known um, within the application system, is to win the innovation one. And, and we won on innovation. Um, but I think the other ones that archaeology could potentially plug into um, is uh, the social mobility. Um, it's worth looking at. Um, each award, when, if you win an award, it's valid for five years. Um, and what does that mean? Um, well, I'll come on to that in a sec. Um, it's a web-based application, so just the same as the CBA. Uh, that's where the link is. But if you just put into a search engine, King's Award, it'll all come up and it's just off the government website. Um, so uh, what do you get if you win? Well, um, you get a, attendance at a royal reception at Buckingham Palace um, with just one person from your organisation. Uh, so I met the King on uh, Tuesday evening this week. Um, and they have other kind of royalty uh, around as well. So there was um, Sophie was of Wessex now, Duchess of Edinburgh, I think, um, and Edward, and there was one or two others as well. Um, you get a grant of appointment, which is effectively the certificate, uh, and you also get a crystal trophy. Um, the Lord Lieutenant of your area will come to your business and present you with uh, the grant of appointment and the trophy, and you can obviously, um, you know, get some publicity around that. Um, you can fly the king's flag. There you go. Um, you know, if you so wish. Um, and uh, there's a logo comes with this. That was what was on the first slide. Um, and there's various permutations of that. Uh, you can use that on your marketing materials, websites, etc. Um, and obviously, there's a the publicity that comes with it. Um, as we found out, there's all sorts of people ring you up, trying to get interviews, trying to publish um, things about you and so on. Um, so huge opportunity to max out on that. Uh, and also on an international stage as well, I've got to say. Um, and we didn't realize at the time, um, but it's become you know, very obvious to us as, as this has kind of uh, you know, come out uh, in, in public. It's really opened up networking opportunities as well. Um, so eligibility, um, you have to be a UK-based company. Um, you have to have a record of good compliance with HMRC, so making sure you paid your tax bill. Um, you've got to be a self-contained enterprise. Um, so, uh, you know, you, and you've got to market and manage your own services. So um, you can't just be a, a subsidiary of a bigger entity. Um, you need at least two full-time UK employees, but that's good because it means that micro businesses can apply. Um, and when I was there on Tuesday night, um, there was plenty of micro businesses who, who'd won awards. Um, uh, there was a couple, husband and wife team, um, and they, they won one of the innovation awards. Um, you've got to be able to demonstrate strong environmental, social and governance practices. Uh, again, across all those categories, it just comes as standard. Fundamentally, it is an award for enterprise. So when you go through the application form, it is a deep dive into your organization and they will look at everything from your accounts um, and so on and so forth. So although you might apply under one of those strands, you've basically got to be a quality business throughout. Um, each of those different award categories I mentioned has additional eligibility criteria as well. 
Um, so what are the benefits? Uh, well, it helps with reputation. Um, great for morale. Um, you know, big morale uplift for the team. Um, obviously helpful for sales and marketing. Uh, recruitment, um, it's helping on that front. The other thing as well, it, you know, it builds momentum. So, you know, we, we won it on the innovation strand and that's encouraged further innovation because you've got rewarded for it. So people are happy to keep doing it and do more of it, uh, which is great. But what are the barriers? Well, um, first of all, you've got to make sure you meet the criteria. So, you know, have a good read at it if, you, if you're interested. Um, I'd also say, you know, self-belief and fear of failure. Um, I think, you know, people sometimes look at this particular award scheme and think, you know what, it's pretty tough. We couldn't possibly win one of those. Um, and I think archaeologists, I think sometimes we don't um, have the confidence to get recognition for some of the great stuff that we do collectively. And um, it's like anything. You've got to be in it to win it. And, um, you know, why not give it a whirl? Um, you've obviously got to set time aside to apply. Um, you know, it, it is an in-depth application. Um, and also, you need to think about having the time and also the appetite to potentially implement some change and improve your company. Because part of the process of applying might make you think, do you know what, we can't do that bit yet. We're going to have to institute some changes to improve how we do that and then maybe apply the following year. So it can drive positive change you know, in, in your company. So I'll just finish with some quick tips just based on our experience. Um, first one I'd say, if, you know, if you're going for one of these, is bring your team together, um, or when I say your team, not necessarily the entire company, but um, your team that's gonna have a go at this application, um, and allocate sections across the team, so share the load. It also gets buy-in, um, and uh, It'll bring different perspectives and ideas to the table, which is often really quite helpful. Um, that said, you've got to make sure you've got a clear narrative that flows through the entire application. Um, I know that with ours, they like the overall story. So it wasn't even just one innovation. It was a series of things over, over a period of time that they were interested in. Um, Obviously, you've got to make sure you meet the award stream criteria, you know, and as precisely as possible, and, you, and it's got to be demonstrable. Um, and all the claims you make, what you've achieved, you need to reference them to uh, factual data and results, uh, and that includes your accounts as well. So if you, for example, with the innovation stream, you have to be able to show that an innovation brought you know, financial benefit, and you've got to be able to track that through your accounts. So, you know, it really, you know, it, it's, it is a deep dive. Um, but it's like anything, if, you know, if you fit that criteria, um, it also gives you a, a really, really good chance of getting one of these. Um, and the other thing uh, I'd say is plan the timing of your ap application um, to align with your business cycle. You know, all businesses have ups and downs and so on. So, you know, if you know the application period for this, think about when over the next year, two, three years, would be the optimum time to get an application in. Um, so trying to line it to, you know, when you're gonna look good, basically, would be what I'd say. Um, the application period for this award scheme, it opens in May of each year. I'm just trying to think now. Yeah, that's right. Opens in May and then it shuts mid-September. Um, so you've got that window. Uh, they announce the winners the following um, March, um, and then uh, in the interim, they might come back to you for more information. So, um, yeah, and, and as I said before, the other thing is it is an opportunity to bring improvements into your company. And if everybody's getting behind it and again, getting behind the objective of trying to win one of these awards, it's a quite a useful way to help, you know, bring in change. 